students' understanding of Islamic economics from a macro perspective, yeah, which includes various macroeconomic indicators, such as this one, as well as economic policies, both fiscal and monetary, and their impact on the economy. So this is uh, what we are trying to develop through our uh, Islamic macroeconomics. Yeah? And uh, <clears throat> what we are teaching in this subject yeah, what we teach in this course, yeah, uh, as uh, you already aware that Indonesia adopts uh, averagely in you know, 14 weeks of lecture. Yeah, uh, some universities even 16, but in IPB 14 for the class week and two uh, uh, weeks for uh, midterm and final exam. Yeah, midterm exam and final exam. So what we teach here. Yeah, you can see uh, the expected capabilities that should be, I mean, uh, we want our students to have this kind of skills. Yeah? Uh, for example, in the first week, we want them to understand the basic concept, the basic concept of national income in a Sharia perspective. Yeah? Uh, so uh, what we are teaching them here, so we teach about the circular flow and the concept of national income in a Sharia perspective. And the methods that we are using is lectures and discussion. And since our, <coughs> since the introduction of the 2020 curriculum, so most of the uh, assessment scheme, yeah, the most weight for the assessment scheme lies on the project or assignment, student project or assignment. 
I will explain it to you later on. Yeah. So this is uh, about the <coughs> the topic that we are teaching every week. Yeah. Uh, the second week is on the presumption, saving, and investment function. Yeah. And also uh, the role of government. Yeah. Money theory. Uh, and also uh, the model that has been uh, discussed briefly in the earlier uh, session by Pa Suherman yeah, when he uh, talked about the Fahim Khan model yeah. according to, the, uh, to our humble knowledge yeah, uh, to explain one of the essence in the macroeconomics yeah, we use this uh, Fahim Khan model yeah. that's why it is called Islam model yeah, this is not uh, from our, uh, this is from Fahim Khan, Fahim Khan model, yeah, Islam. What is that? It's similar to Aslam, <laughs> yeah, so Prof. Aslam, uh, similar to Aslam. <laughs> yeah, change it, okay. Yeah, so this is derived from uh, Fahim Khan's model, because we have to teach something, and of course we see uh, there are many weaknesses, of course, yeah, just like what I said to you earlier, that we cannot simply change the interest rate with the profit sharing rate. Because profit sharing is something which is determined, uh, determined at micro level, yeah. So how to uh, have, or maybe we have to dip, you know, we have to think deep, deeper. Do we really need this kind of policy? tools yeah do we really need this kind of uh, tools actually or we can have or, or can we have the other way around or the other model yeah? of course the the answer for this question requires full access to the economic power yeah to the uh, policy decision making process that's why here in indonesia the islam economists we try that in the next administration, the Islam economists should take over the economic team in the cabinet. <laughs> if we can do that, then we can have a new approach on the micro economics. Because what we do is just you know academic exercise, which may not be yeah practical, which may which may not be applicable. Yeah, because I have uh, my in my personal experience. When we have a thought, and then you have the power to implement it, to implement this one, then you can see the result. I have done it in the Zakat world. Yeah, I saw the results. Now I'm trying to do it in the Wakaf world with Professor Aditya. Hopefully we can also see the result. For example, the implementation of Zakat, National Zakat Index, as well as National Wakaf Index. That is the macro tools to improve the quality of Zakat and Wakaf management. So we have a dream in the central banking area, in the Minister of Finance area, maybe one day, you know, yeah. depending upon which president that is elected there. <laughs> no, no campaign. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so uh, this is the models. Yeah, until the 14 weeks. Yeah. So uh, this is the assessment scheme, yeah, uh, in IPB, the biggest proportion is on the assignment, on the project, yeah, 50% uh, of it, yeah, and then, uh, this is our challenges, yeah, why I'm saying about that, I mean, from the political perspective, because we need to strengthen what we call as the Islamic political economic phase, how we can mainstreaming the Islamic economics as our major economic policy? Yeah, this is you know a, a very a big question. Yeah, if we can do this, I think Malaysia should have better opportunity with the current government. Yeah, how you can provide the inputs <coughs> that can be adopted as a policy? This is what we are trying to do also, yeah, Babu. Uh, in, in OJK, we have done a research on social function of Islamic banks. And Alhamdulillah, 
they promised that this